Hi everyone, welcome to my channel, Advice to Think Twice. My name is Monica and I'm here with your December forecast. Apologies for the delay. Um, this is going to be for Sagittarius, Sun sign, Moon sign, Rising signs. You can also watch this if you're dealing with the Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, and Rising, and always keep in mind these are general, so they're not going to apply to everybody watching or not in the same way. Um, any information about private readings or the specials running, everything's in the description box below. And thank you for all your wonderful support. Um, now, along the year or the years before, if you've been with me for that long, I appreciate each and every single one of you and I send you lots of love um, and light and happiness, okay, especially during this time of year. So let's have a look at what's going on for Sagittarius. For you, I'm using the Russian Tarot of St. Petersburg. Let me just, there we go. And I hope the light's okay. I've got some candles going. I've got my salt lamp on. It has the best and gentlest, uh, or most gentle light. So I hope the lighting's okay. Let's have a look. Sagittarius, one card flipped around. So I'll leave that to the side. What's going on for Sagittarius in the month of December? Okay. <clears throat> so at the bottom of the deck, we have the page of clubs or the page of wands. So with the Page of Wands, it can be your energy, because this is fire energy, so Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. Um, for others, this could be another fire sign coming in. So again, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, that could be their sun sign, their moon sign, or their um, rising sign. Um, there is new energy coming in, whether it's in the form of a job opportunity or the opportunity to advance within your job or career. Um, good news about studies, good news about travel. Um, or offers and opportunities in terms of love life. Um, it can also be happening with this energy of the Page of Clubs, okay? But overall, it's good news, potentially coming from far away, foreign people, foreign lands, foreign cultures, uh, coming up with this energy of the Page of Clubs. It could also be your focus on what you want next in your life, your focus on um, what you want a situation to be, so there's a lot of thought um, or communication happening, okay, with the Page. And with the Nine of Clubs, it could be around a situation that has been going on for a while and it's left you feeling very drained, okay? Uh, you've hung in there, you've done the best you could with it, however, it feels like it was just you, okay? So it, it should have been a team effort, but it was just you standing your ground and protecting the relationship or the friendship or the partnership, whatever the case may be. And now you're starting to think, okay, do I really need to do this then if it's just me, if it matters, it's just to me, apparently. Um, what else could I be doing here? Okay, so for some you're thinking about where do I go from here because this needs to stop, this needs to end. I've given it everything, so that's it. I have my peace of mind that I've tried everything. Now, where do I want to move on to? Well, for others, you're still thinking, is there anything else that I could try? I don't want to give up just yet, okay? In the current situation, we have another page. We have the page of coins or the page of pentacles. So again, for some, this is good news about job, money, your studies, definitely. But the, it is about an offer that's coming in that you really have to pay attention to. It's not something you should dismiss um, just on the face of it, okay? I feel that there might be a situation where you've been investing a lot, everything you had, into one situation, whether it's a relationship, a job, a, a career, a, a business, a friendship, whatever the case may be, okay? You've given it everything. And now there's something new coming in where it's an option. Do you want to carry on investing into that, what seems like a black hole? Or do you want to try a different direction? Okay, because this is a very real, valued, um, valid and valuable offer that is being presented to you, okay? This is also, also discussing terms, discussing expectations, uh, discussing standards, uh, ground rules, boundaries, okay, is what's coming up. It's not usually the energy of the page of, of, of coins, but that's how it's coming up here, where this is what I'm bringing to the table and this is what I deserve, 
are you going to give me this or not? Are you going to match my efforts or not? And so on and so forth. So com communication there almost feels like a negotiation. The challenge is the Knight of Swords. So it has been a difficult situation that you've been investing in, potentially around an air sign, a Gemini, a Libra, Aquarius, Sun, Moon, or Rising signs. Um, and they've been very self-centered. It's been all about themselves, what they want. Uh, they've been holding back. They've been holding you back. They've been... Uh, just not matching your efforts or n not seeming to appreciate your efforts even with this energy. And there's been a lot of uh, tension, chaos, conflict, uh, arguments, um, anger, okay, um, with this energy of the Knight of Swords. So that's the challenge. Is it, do you keep going in this direction where there's going to be nothing more th of the same? Or do you shift course? okay is is what i'm feeling here in the foundation we have the emperor so the reason for everything it could be again fire sign aries here uh for better or for worse for others of you this is about you just have to do what's best for you with the emperor the emperor is someone who always makes the right decision but he takes his time and he assesses everything he hears everyone out um and he makes the best decision the more the most fair if you will decision okay considering the the ethical thing to do considering what's fair considering what is a balanced decision a balanced approach and sometimes you know or most of the time he has to make difficult decisions because that's what's best that's what ultimately is best for himself or everyone else that he needs to take care of okay so, so more often than not the emperor is making difficult decisions okay choices and decisions that usually people shy away from because you're scared to make that kind of decision it's a big deal you know that's where the emperor comes in he can't hide he won't hide he will always do what needs to be done okay so i feel like that's where you've come to you've come to the stage where you just have to do what you have to do at this point okay you've been fair you've given this person everything You've invested, 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 and they've given you nothing but heartache and heartbreak in return. We have the Three of Swords in the past, okay? So this is what you've been experiencing. That's why you're at the Nine of Clubs stage. That's why you're feeling drained. That's why you're feeling like you've been through war, protecting a partnership on your own, okay? So that's what it feels like. So again, working for a company that doesn't appreciate you, working with people that don't appreciate you, uh, providing for people that don't appreciate you, uh, fighting for a relationship where the other person doesn't really care or doesn't do their part, uh, take you for granted, and so on and so forth. Um, a project, a business where you've been giving it everything, but not everyone else has been pulling their weight. Um, and it's just been disappointment, okay, with the Three of Swords there, heartache, heartbreak, betrayal, um, just disappointment, just sorrow, okay, just hurt. In your crowning thoughts, we have the two of coins, so decision, choices between these two directions. Do you carry on in the direction of the, the direction you've been going in, where there's chaos, there's conflict, there's tension, there's take, 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 and not receive, um, or do you shift course? because now is the time. You have at least one solid option, valuable, with a lot of potential to give you everything that you deserve, but it needs to be looked at now. It needs to be assessed and you need to make a decision now, okay? You can make a decision at any point. You can make a decision any time to stay or to go, but this time it's a little bit easier during this time of December because you have other options that are here now so you can jump from one thing to the other. Okay, so you don't have to spend a lot of time searching or spend a lot of time uh, trying to figure out what you're going to do. There's valid options for you to choose and just start in that direction, just jump into, okay? And again, this could be choosing between an air sign and an earth sign, choosing between um, one job or the other, okay? It's, it's just choices. Carry on in the direction you've been going in where there's just been hurt and more of this, the same is coming, or shift course where you have valid options to choose from, okay, in terms of what you could be doing next. In the outcome, we do have the Ten of Swords. So the Three of Swords turns into the Ten of Swords, so that is, that's it, okay, final straw. This is 
the difficult end to the difficult, long, drained out situation. Okay, so I do feel that for some, you're putting an end to, to a relationship, whether it's a romantic relationship, a business partnership, a job, friendship, relationship with a sibling or a member of, a member of family, uh, something, whatever it is. It's a relationship that you've been investing in over and over and over again. And not only didn't you receive, um, not only were your efforts not matched, but you received pain and heartache in return, okay? So that's what's ending. You're putting an end to it, definitely, with this Ten of Swords. Because it's time to move on, because you have other options to look at. Yeah, we have the Judgment and the Ten of Clubs, so it's time to free yourself. So another Ten, Ten of Wands. This is what follows the Nine of Clubs. So this is, basically this is telling you, if you don't free yourself now, the Nine of Wands will turn into the Ten of Wands, where it will be too much for you to bear, and it will affect your health. Okay, so now maybe it's at the point of stress or mental anxiety or emotional um, anxiety, sensitivity, just hurt, okay, but it will turn into something more. It will take away even more from you unless you free yourself, okay, unless you kind of see the writing on the wall with the judgment card and make that judgment call, make that responsible decision where you have to look out for yourself first because whatever or whoever this person is that you've been investing in they're not appreciating it they're not looking out for you okay um but the judgment card is liberation it's giving yourself a fresh start giving yourself a new beginning and it could be taking this offer that you're receiving okay so it could be getting the divorce, ending the relationship, starting a new relationship, or um, releasing the pain, letting go of the, um, the hopes for someone from the past to come back, saying enough is enough, that's it, I deserve something better, and before you know it, there's something better knocking on your door, okay, um, new job, okay, better job, absolutely, um, with this energy, it's just clean slates, and starting a new path, that is almost like a higher calling that is part of your spiritual path that elevates you okay so that's what's going on for you in december so as the year is coming to a close you're also bringing something to a close that has taken a lot from you not giving you a lot of positive things in return you're bringing that to a close with peace of mind, that's very important, so there will be no regrets there. Because you know, you're aware, you can see, I've given it everything. I've tried everything. I've done my part. There is nothing else I can try. That's what the Ten of Swords and the Ten of Wands is, okay? I have no regrets. I've tried everything. I've given it everything. Still didn't work. I have to walk away. I deserve better. This, is, this experience has taught me what I deserve. And I'm no longer willing to put myself in this situation again. So I will not compromise. I will not settle. So it's leaving this behind with a strength, with a confidence, with a knowing of what you want, what you deserve. And the confidence to say, no, thank you. I deserve better than this. As soon as we say that, as soon as we are in that attitude, in that energy, that something better is knocking on our door. I promise you. That's how it goes. Okay, so this is definitely, it was a lesson with the judgment card, absolutely, spiritual lesson there, karmic lesson maybe, but you're graduating, you see it clearly, you're graduating and you're making different decisions, and the best thing is you've got options that are here, that are good, valuable options, so make your choice and embrace the new because you deserve it, okay? So that's your reading for the month of December. Um, I hope that it makes sense to you and I hope that it helps you if you're dealing with these energies. Let me know how the cards apply to you. If they do, if this makes absolutely no sense for you or to you, it's just not um, a reading that's for you at this time. So just watch your other signs. Um, but yeah, let me know if it does apply to you. Let me know how and if, if the reading helps, okay? So I just want to thank you again for joining me and for all your wonderful support. I hope everyone has a fantastic, loving, happy holiday season. 
and a wonderful new year. Stay tuned for your 2019 forecast. I'll be posting them this week. And I will talk to you again very, very, very soon. Okay? Bye for now.